Okay, good morning guys. So I am here in my bedroom in front of my closet and my vanity and today's video is going to be about wardrobe, which I'm really excited. This is one of my highest requested videos of the moment right now, um, particularly over on my Instagram. If you're not following me, you can feel free to follow me. I have been sharing outfits of the day, dresses of the day. Um, quite a few things have changed in just like with myself. And by the way, I'm not sharing this because I'm trying to gloat or like announce, you know, I'm so great. Like, look what I'm doing, pay attention. Like, it's just that when I do share bits of my journey over on Instagram, so many people write me and they're like, oh my gosh, I love that dress. Where did you get it? I would love if you would do a dress haul. Um, and this is also kind of like my own personal video diary, which is strange because I'm sharing it with anyone who wants to listen. But, um, but I just like sharing with you guys when I have revelations or when things change for me in my life that make a positive change. That's why I started my channel to begin with was to share things I'm passionate about, things that I'm loving, things that are making an impact for me, making me happy. And this is a long time coming. So I don't even know if I've shared my new vanity with you guys on this channel. Um, if you weren't aware, I started a second channel and it is called Beauty with Alithia and it is dedicated to all things beauty. So it's dedicated to skincare, um, makeup. That's pretty much it. So far, it's been pretty focused on makeup. Um, I recently kind of realized in a nutshell that I could make makeup work for me and have been falling in love with with the world of makeup and have allowed myself to indulge a little bit in it. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that in today's video because this video is not about makeup, but there's my beautiful vanity. If you guys are interested in a vanity tour or any makeup content, please check out my other channel. I'll put a link in the description and yeah. But today's video on this channel, I haven't posted here in a couple weeks because I was trying to get the other channel up and going and I've just been so busy with things. I've been working a lot more. And But yeah, today I wanted to do some wardrobe chit chat, which honestly, that's one of my favorite things. Um, so I'm going to put my coffee down and I'm going to try to share with you guys my thoughts a little bit. I'm just going to sit down and share with you some of my, what's been changing for me, my mentality. Um, and then we'll get into the clothing and I'm going to share with you guys the dresses that I've gotten recently because so many people have been asking where I got them from. I think you guys will be surprised at where some of them are from actually. Um, this is just like an easier way for me to sit down and chat with you guys. So I don't know, hopefully it's a nice perspective and you maybe feel like we're sitting in the same room and we're just talking. Um, so how do I begin? I feel like this last month for me has been very, very transformative. You know how when you're looking at motivational stuff like um, motivational accounts, they'll be like 2023 is my year and so every new every year people say or think like this year is going to be my year kind of thing so i would say the last couple of years have been pretty stressful for me in a sense well the last few years really like life is good don't get me wrong but i mean we went through a pandemic i did full-time nursing school like i was a nurse before but i went back to upgrade um did almost four years of education graduated we had the pandemic. All of that was very stressful. And then things were like pretty good. Then we got a puppy, which is very stressful. If you've ever had a new puppy, you know how much work it is. So that was all going on. Um, and then just, I really struggled last winter. I really struggled in the winter of 2023 going into 2024. Um, my mental health was not good. I feel like this last month in particular, has been very transformative for me. I know I get flack sometimes on this channel when I change my mind about things, but the thing is I am a human, I am not a robot, and I reserve the right to change my mind about things as many times as I want. You know, I would be doing all of this in private, like to my for myself, and I would never sit here and judge myself or feel bad about it. I would never feel guilty for going through life transitions and changing and growing. I mean, after all, we are humans, we grow, we change, and this is me growing and changing, but in real time and in front of people because I have a YouTube channel. So obviously I'm not the same person now as I was five years ago. I'm not the same person I was 15 years ago. And honestly, I'm not the same person I was two months ago. Like we're always constantly growing and changing and evolving. And I don't know what happened over the last, literally the last month. I don't know what happened. I had sort of a shift in myself. I don't know if I found inspiration from like certain accounts like trends or I'm not really sure I found inspiration from somewhere and all of a sudden things started changing I had this desire to start wearing more floral pieces I actually told you guys about this a few months ago I said in my wardrobe I want to start I was looking initially just for a blue floral 
dress or a blue floral skirt. That was what I was looking for. I never ended up really finding that, but I did find other florals and just my style has been changing. What I feel like I can wear that suits me has been changing. My taste in clothing has been changing a little bit. Um, up until recently, my whole wardrobe was very much all neutrals and I didn't really have a lot of print and I didn't have a lot of florals. I've been just even doing my hair differently. Like up until recently, my go-to was when I would work, I would always put my hair back in just a bun or like a clip and I would always have a headband on because it was easy. It was functional. It kept my hair out of my face. My hair would never be in my face and I didn't have to worry about it, especially during the pandemic. We had to wear masks every single day. So there was really no point in doing yourself up because nobody could see you anyway. Um, so I think I just really honestly got used to, especially during the pandemic, I got used to not putting myself together, not going out a lot, not putting a lot of effort in. I feel like that probably happened to a lot of people. And I also feel like that whole, like from the year 2020 up until 2022, maybe into the beginning of 23, when things kind of settled down, I feel like that robbed me and a lot of us of very important times in our lives. Like for me, that was what you would consider the prime of my life. Those were my prime years that the pandemic stole from me. We were house hunting. I was, you know, we were traveling. I was in really good physical condition, going to the gym, um, everything was really good. And then the pandemic hit and it kind of just like dampened everything. And then of course now we've got inflation. I mean, there's so many things going on in the world right now. It's no wonder that it's been stressful. And I think a lot of us probably have undergone some sort of physical or some sort of mental change. You know what? I just kind of realized that life is too short. And I've said that for a long time. I know that I always have talked about it on my channel. I've always said, you know, we shouldn't save our best perfumes for the best, for special occasions. We shouldn't save our special, our favorite clothing for special occasions. We should put our best foot forward all the time. But was I really living up to that? Was I really doing that? I don't think so. I would feel kind of chronically like I wasn't doing, I wasn't living my best life. I would be. I would feel like my life wasn't adequate somehow or I needed to make changes to my life because I wasn't wearing, I wasn't doing enough things to like wear my best clothing and I wasn't going to enough events or traveling enough to where I had to do my makeup and my hair and wear really nice clothing and, you know, dress up and dress fancy and go out. And so I would always feel kind of almost depressed because I would look at my closet that had really nice clothing, really nice shoes. Um... And I wasn't using those things. And I thought that meant something was wrong with me. Something's wrong with my life. Like I need to do something different. I need to move somewhere. I need to live somewhere else. I need to maybe have a different career. I need to travel more. I need to go out more. I have to start going out and socializing and um, out for drinks more often or something like, I, which I don't even drink, but I was like, I felt like I was just missing a very, a part of my life. And what I've realized over the last month or so is that it wasn't my life that needed to change. It was the approach that I took every day and the cho the choices that I make every single day. My life was, my life is perfectly fine. My life is very good. There was nothing I needed to change about my lifestyle. My lifestyle is the way it is because I've designed it that way and I like it that way. Um, I'm kind of a homebody. I work as a nurse. I spend most days at home doing kind of domestic things, cleaning, cooking, organizing, grocery shopping, laundry, walking the dog, and my little hobbies, which is kind of YouTube and stuff like that. And I love that. And I wouldn't want to trade that for anything. I wouldn't want to all of a sudden start living this like exciting, extravagant life where I'm going out all the time and I'm, you know, um, going out to clubs or something and I'm like socializing all the time and, um, going out to fancy places and picking up and moving somewhere so that I live in a city so that I can feel like, well, now I live in a big city. So now I must be living that life, like the life that people want or whatever. I don't know if it's FOMO, but when you would see people, especially on Instagram, and they seem like their posts show the, the highlights and they're always in some super beautiful place at a really fancy coffee shop. And it seems like that's their whole life is being fabulous, that that's their whole life is they're doing fabulous things and they're going to fabulous places. When you see that, you start to feel inadequate, like, well, why aren't I doing that? Um, but the truth is I don't want that. Like, I don't even want that. I like being at home. I do love going out to coffee shops and stuff. I love traveling and things too, but I don't, like, I love my life. I wouldn't want to change my life. I have evolved and made them the way that they are. So I like my life. If I didn't like it, I would change it, right? So it wasn't my life that had to change. It was how I was doing things. It was my choices I was making in terms of clothing, 
putting myself together, actually trying to feel good about myself every single day. Um, like for example, I rarely would wear a full face of makeup. The only time I would wear a full face of makeup is if I was going out for dinner or if I was on vacation and I wanted to feel a little bit more put together. And even then I wasn't doing a proper quote unquote proper full face, just kind of like, okay, I'll just like use a little bit of concealer, mascara, and call it a day. I literally would be like sunscreen, concealer, mascara, and I would call it a day. I wasn't in the habit of doing a full face. And because I don't work in an office, that's not really an excuse, I guess, but um, because I don't work in an office, I've never had the the need some sort of nice outfit every day and do my hair every day and do my makeup every day because as a nurse, you wear scrubs. And the whole point is actually they suggest that you don't get too fancy. Like they frown upon if you have too much makeup, they frown upon nails. They frown upon perfume. They frown upon doing extravagant hairstyles. Ideally, if you have long hair, it's pulled back and I'm on the floor. I guess if I had an office job nursing, be different, but I'm on the floor. I'm a bedside nurse, which I love and I wouldn't want to change that either. So all of this to say a shift happened where I was like, I just wanted to start putting myself together every single day. I wanted to feel good about myself every single day. And I started watching content about wearing dresses more often. And I'm not even kidding you guys. Like all of this has happened in the last like three to four weeks, this whole transition. So when people say like, oh my gosh, like you can't decide what you're doing in terms of makeup, because yes, I did just condense all my makeup down to fit into one bag because I thought that that's what I wanted. Well, obviously putting myself together every day and doing a full face of makeup and um this whole this whole transition that's happened with me personally that now now it makes sense that I like to I want to try new things and I am interested in trying new blushes and because I am doing my makeup now every single day. Um, so that's changed, right? Whereas before I didn't do it every single day. I was such a minimalist. I just honestly didn't think I needed all that stuff. I'm understanding why would somebody want to go to Sephora and spend all this money and try new things and <laughs> try new blushes and stuff like that. I'm starting to get it. And yeah, I'm a little bit late to the game maybe, but anyways, I'm starting to get it. And so over the last month, um, like I said, I was starting to watch content about wearing dresses every single day. And you know how, like, at least for me, I was thinking, I was thinking I wouldn't want to dress up every day. Like in my opinion, putting on a dress, even if it was a casual dress, in my opinion, that was dressing up. And I was like, that's too much effort. I am not going to do that every single day. When in actuality, you guys, the, there is no difference between me going out in Lululemon leggings and a long sleeve t-shirt and having my hair, whatever, than just putting on a dress. Actually putting on a dress takes less effort than putting on the Lululemon leggings because the dress is just one article of clothing. When I, the difference is when I put on the dress, I feel so much better. Um, so I, and I watched a couple of videos where people talked about like how wearing dresses really changed their lives. Or I was watching content about like these housewives who kind of the trad wife, I think that's where it kind of came from. The whole trad wife thing was intriguing to me because I've always been very old fashioned. I've always considered myself very domestic. I love like doing things at home. I love being housewifely. I love just doing that stuff, right? I love just being like a housewife and a caretaker and I love cleaning and I love doing all that stuff. And so I think that whole lifestyle appealed to me. And with that came the floral dresses. And I was like, yes, I like that style. I like that vibe. I want to get into it more. It really inspired me. And at first I was like, no, that that's way too much work. Like I really cannot see myself putting on a dress every single day and putting in that much effort and doing my makeup. I was like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that every single day. Like maybe if I'm going out somewhere. So, but my going out would be like if I was going to get my nails done or a pedicure or maybe for coffee at a nice place or something. My typical day-to-day -day doesn't involve that stuff. My typical day-to-day -day is usually like just getting groceries or going to the post office or going out to get gas or going to stopping into work for a minute for something or taking my daughter to school for something or dropping her off at sports or whatever. Just like normal day-to-day. -day. Sometimes I don't even go anywhere. I just do things around the house and walk the dog. That's it. But pretty much every single day I try to get out and I try to at least go for a little drive just to get out of the house. And I like to go get myself a Tim Hortons coffee or something. And so I felt like my life wasn't, I didn't have any kind of occasion. Like why would I put on a dress? But I tried it. I tried it. And at first I was very uncomfortable. You guys, like at, at first I was really uncomfortable because I'm not used to dressing up if there's not an occasion. The thing about today's society is that it's very rare to see somebody 
really put their best foot forward and be dressed up. If you walk around any place, doesn't matter what city you live in, I've noticed, you know, Target or um, any place, any place that you go out, post office, grocery store, very small percentage of people actually try to dress elegantly and put themselves together and dress with class and dress with style. And even fewer of those people dress traditionally, um, like in traditional feminine attire, which is what I like. Very rare do you see a woman in a conservative, um, traditional styled floral dress. It's very rare. When you do, you actually notice it. Your, your eyes perk up and you look and you think, oh wow, she's like, she looks so put together. She looks so feminine. She looks so elegant, so classy, you know, very demure and sophisticated, but still very feminine and very pretty. So we notice that that's how our society has become. It's either, you know, people are wearing stuff that is so revealing, which unfortunately is a trend now is a thing. People are wearing crop tops and belly shirts all the time. People are wearing super short shorts and short skirts. People are living their lives in athleisure, which I was guilty of. Um, the athleisure being just like leggings and a t-shirt. I would resort to my Lululemon leggings and that is the that is the society that we've come to. That's how people are. They're either in completely casual athleisure or they're in some trendy something. But it's very rare, I feel like, to just see somebody, unless you're an older generation actually put themselves together and even more so dress feminine and traditional and even a step further, rather conservative and modest. That's rare. It's rare to see modest femininity. And I have learned that that is what I feel best in. I feel best in somewhat conservative, rather modest, traditional feminine attire. And so what I did when I discovered this whole thing and I was having this whole shift and life is too short, I'm, I'm done waiting for special occasions to feel good. I want to feel good every single day. And I don't know why I was putting it off. I don't know why I thought it was so much work. The truth is it's not that much work. And since I have started actually wearing my hair down more often, my hair is really long right now, which has been a game changer. 10 out of 10 suggests long hair. <laughs> I let my hair grow out over the last year. I quit getting haircuts. <laughs> I wanted it to grow out. I feel so much more feminine and so much more beautiful having long hair. Um, and it inspires me to want to actually curl it and leave it down more often rather than resort to a ponytail or whatever. I would rarely, rarely leave my hair down and curl it. And when I did, I felt like, oh, this is a special occasion. And then the other thing that would happen is if I did do that, if I did put my best foot forward and I never went anywhere, like out for dinner or something, I would feel super depressed because I was like, well, I got all ready and I didn't go anywhere. And so I had this really unhealthy, like there was a disconnect. I felt like I had to always be going somewhere fancy for the clothing and the hair and everything. I also felt like my life wasn't like lavish enough or something, or my life wasn't exciting enough because I didn't have opportunity to put my best foot forward when really every single day was an opportunity to put my best foot forward. I just wasn't doing it, if that makes sense. So starting to wear a full face of makeup, starting to wear my hair down more often and just take that extra effort, which I formerly thought was too much work, not necessary. And I really was just resigning myself to mediocrity. That's what I was doing. I was resigning myself to mediocrity. I was allowing myself to live a mediocre life. Not really my life because I liked my life, but I was allowing myself to be mediocre, to dress in a mediocre way. And you guys see my Instagram, like you guys see, I have always dressed nicely, especially like but on my Instagram, I mostly post like the, the outfits of the day are the ones when I did go out for dinner, when I was traveling, when I was putting my best foot forward, of course, because that's when we share. We don't share when we're sitting around in our pajamas. We share when we put our best foot forward. So it's not that I've never dressed up or been feminine or done my makeup or done my hair. I just always would resort that, even perfumes, wearing perfumes, I resorted it all for special occasions. The difference is now I'm doing it every single day and it has been a game changer. I can't tell you guys how much happier I feel, how much more confident I feel, how much more beautiful I feel, how much more fulfilled I feel because I have been taking that extra time in the day. It doesn't even take that much time. I think what takes the most time is the makeup and that doesn't even take that much time. But otherwise, we all get dressed and we all brush our hair and we all leave the house. So the difference is instead of putting on something super casual or athleisure, and I should clarify, there's casual dresses too. So it's not that I'm dressing up every day. I wear casual dresses, but what I mean is I'm not just putting on Lululemon leggings and 
a little bit of concealer and just going and looking like pretty much I've always been just coming back from the dog park or I'm always just coming back from the gym because that's how I probably gave off the impression to people like you know it just looked very casual I think um so that's the difference instead of just resorting to that I've actually been doing my makeup reaching for a dress instead of leggings and throwing on a couple pieces of jewelry and making sure my hair looks pretty good and that's about it and those little changes have made a huge change for me huge change with that has come some realizations about my wardrobe too. I think there's things in my wardrobe I'm not likely to wear. I know you guys have, like on my channel, I've talked a lot about how I never, I just don't wear jeans. I've talked about this a lot, how I don't wear jeans. And the reason for that is because I've told you guys, I just don't feel my best in it, but I couldn't really pinpoint like, why don't I feel my best in jeans? And what I've realized is the key is femininity. I don't feel good in androgynous clothing. I feel good in feminine clothing. And jeans like blue jeans are not that feminine you can make them look nice and you can make them look feminine and they do look nice There's, I'm not saying they're not they're not nice they just don't feel right to me because I've always felt better in a dress I've always felt better in a skirt and I've been saying that for a long time like if you guys look way back on my Instagram for years if you look back on my old videos my old wardrobe videos I've always said I for some reason I just don't reach for jeans I always reach for a skirt or a dress and I couldn't really figure out why that was I was like is there something wrong with me am I weird am I just like hoity-toity or am I like some kind of prudish conservative weirdo who is old-fashioned or like what's wrong with me and actually there's nothing wrong with me I'm just a woman <laughs> I'm just a feminine woman and that the, the reason I always felt better in dresses and skirts is because that made me feel like my most authentic feminine version of myself that made me feel my best there's a marked difference in my mood in my um, demeanor when I put on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt versus if I put on a dress and it is night and day when I put on the jeans and the t-shirt I feel like a child I feel like a farmer I feel like a little androgynous. I don't feel as beautiful. I don't feel as put together. Nothing wrong with jeans. Like I said, I don't even mind them. Like I look okay in them. I know my boyfriend wishes I would wear jeans more often because they're figure flattering and they obviously hug your curves and they look really nice. And you know, that's one thing. That's one area I do like to dress for him because he is my, my man. So I do take his opinion into account and I like to look nice for him. And if he wants me to wear a certain thing, I take that into account. There's definitely a couple pieces in my wardrobe that I keep because I know he likes them. Not so much because I love them that much, but he really likes them. But where I kind of draw the line is like, I just don't like jeans. So I have one pair of jeans in my wardrobe. And this is the problem. I would spend forever looking for a pair of jeans, thinking I need, a, I need jeans. Everybody has jeans. Jeans are a staple. Jeans are a wardrobe staple. And that was me again, trying to suit everybody else's idea of what you needed. Just like turtlenecks. When it comes to fall and winter, everyone's like, oh, you, everyone needs turtlenecks. Turtlenecks look ridiculous on me. They make me look like I literally have no neck. They make me look like a turtle. That's not, it's not a vibe. I'm already short. I already don't have a long torso or a long neck or long arms or anything. So when I wear things that swallow me up and all you can see is my head poking out, it looks ridiculous. So I will never have a turtleneck. I just won't. But yeah, so I would always be on the hunt for the perfect pair of jeans. And I've spent so much money on jeans and so much time and effort only to realize that I just never reach for them and I don't feel that good in them. This is just a little prelude. I think that's about all I want to say. I hope that this is making sense. This That's where this whole shift has come from. This whole shift is me realizing life is too short not to put myself together every single day, even if I'm just at home, even if I'm walking the dog, even if all I'm doing is going to Walmart to get milk, even if all I'm doing is going to the post office or stopping in at work real quick to sign a paper. That is your time. Like every single opportunity, every single time you go out to do something, whether you want to just stop in at Shoppers Drug Mart or stop in at Ulta, that is your opportunity to put your best foot forward and be your best version of yourself. And also at home, being at home during the day is also an opportunity. And it has just been game changing for me, let me tell you. And not only in how I feel about myself, but also in um, relationships and interactions with other people. People treat you differently and it's not about other people's opinions or how they treat you necessarily. That's not the most important thing is people's ideas of you. However, it does improve your life when you have good interactions with other people because of how you put yourself forward. So for example, when I walk my dog wearing 
a headband and my hair is pulled back in a bun and I'm wearing Lululemon leggings and a, a long t-shirt. It's just kind of, I kind of look like a professional dog walker, I guess. That's just what I look like, I guess. But when I take him out for a walk during the day when I've already had a dress on, I'm already dressed up kind of wearing a dress because I just went out, not fancy, just like a casual summer dress. And my hair is down and it's curled and whatever. People are more likely to stop and engage in conversation or ask me questions about my dog. People um, notice a little bit more, like they take notice. People are more likely to engage in conversation with you, men, women, anybody. Um, They're more likely to open up and engage in conversation because you just look more approachable. You it's respectful. It's respectful to yourself and it's respectful to other people to put your best foot forward and to feel your best about yourself and to look nice when you go out. Looking nice when you go out isn't just about you feeling good about yourself. It's about respecting other people. It's kind of like when you go to Walmart or you go to a Target or something and you see people walking around in pajama pants or pants that are two sizes too small or pants that are falling off or baggy clothing and they just look like they literally haven't left their bed in a week. When you see people dressed like that, it's almost kind of like disrespectful in a way because, and I don't, it's not that I'm judging other people, but it's disrespectful in a way because it's like people don't respect their surroundings enough or the place they're going enough to look presentable when they go there. It's like you wouldn't go to the office dressed like that, right? You wouldn't go, you wouldn't go to a parent teacher interview, hopefully dressed like that. You wouldn't go to work dressed like that. If you were a teacher or something, or if you were a manager of a healthcare facility, you wouldn't go to work looking like that. So why would you go to Walmart or Ulta or the post office or the gas station or wherever looking like that. All it says is that I respect this place enough that when I go to this place, I'm going to put myself together. But when I go everywhere else, I'm not because it's not important and I'm not important. That's what it says. And so putting yourself together is respectful for yourself and it's respectful for other people. It shows that you care. It shows that you put some effort in and you actually care. And I just think back to, again, this kind of goes back to the whole trad wife, um, traditional, which by the way, I'm a very traditional person. I feel like I was born in the wrong time era. I could have very easily been a stay-at-home 50s housewife. Obviously, politically, things were not great back then, but I could, that's, you know, the nuclear family, all of the traditional roles, that's what I like. And I think back to my grandmother's time. My grandmother um, was a very classy woman. She never left the house without looking put together. She wore lipstick every day. She always had her hair done. She would always put on one of her nice dresses to go out. She was always very polite, very ladylike, very respectful, and very respectable. And that was how things were. People had more dignity and more respect in those days, and they were more conservative and they were more modest. And women were ladylike and men were masculine. And men also put themselves together when they left. You wouldn't see men in these like baggy jeans that are half falling off or just walking around in like some slouchy, dirty t shirt. Like, people cared. And these days, I feel like people just don't care. And I think that's part of, and I'm obviously kind of guilty of it too, right? Because I would just be like, well, I'm just going to put on my Lululemons to go to the post office. And so that was part of it. That was part of the problem. And I think that's the thing. People these days don't hold themselves to the high standard that they used to. And society doesn't hold them to that standard. We've become so liberal in terms of what's acceptable and what's allowed and what's normal that now anything goes and anything is good, good, and anything is normal and acceptable. But it's led us to a place where people just don't care anymore. Like they just don't seem to care. And I wanted to care. Like I don't know what I was waiting for. I think about my grandma. I think about those times when people put their best foot forward, people cared. So yeah, just a lot of things, just a lot of things. I think just mind shift, revelation, and then also the impact that I've noticed. Like I, for about the last, um, what is it? Two weeks, I would say. So not even that long, but it's been so game changing. The last two, maybe three weeks, I have started wearing dresses every single day, every single day. I never leave the house anymore wearing leggings and a t-shirt. I do my hair every single day, not like crazy, but you know, I'll at least brush it or throw a couple curls in and make it look nice. I'll use dry shampoo if I need to. Like I try to look and feel presentable. I try to feel good about myself. I've been wearing jewelry every single day. I've been wearing perfume every single day and I've been doing my makeup every single day. And maybe I'm late to the game because you know, if I had an office job, obviously I would have done this. I would have already been doing this, but 
because I don't have an office job, I think that just led me to feel like in my time off, in my days off, I could just be a slob, kind of, not a slob, but like I could just hang out in PJs all day and loungewear. And honestly, I just don't feel good about myself doing that. I just don't feel good about myself hanging out in loungewear all day. I feel like a bum. I feel like I'm doing nothing. I just feel so depressed. Like I can't just spend all day hanging out at home in loungewear or pajamas and not put myself together. Cause then, cause the thing is, I think I feel the best about myself when I put myself together. I spend a lot of time at home, you know, like as a nurse, I don't work every single day because our shifts are 12 hour shifts. So I have a lot of days off in between work. And so I'm spending most of my life at home, not feeling good about myself. Right. So how it's no wonder, it's no wonder I was struggling so much with things and always wanting to declutter. Cause I was like, well, I have all these nice things, but I never wear them. I have all these nice perfumes, but I never wear them. I have this makeup and I don't use it. Like, it's no wonder I wanted to always declutter because I was like, this stuff is useless. It's sitting here, not getting used. And now that I'm actually enjoying these things, I'm, I'm taking so much joy and pleasure in allowing those things to grow a little bit and indulging in it a little bit. And cause I'm actually putting things to use now. And as I mentioned on my new channel, and I think I've mentioned here as well, I don't think I can call myself a minimalist anymore. I'm not, I'm not a minimalist, but my channel is still going to be focused on the same stuff. A simple chic life. That's what I desire. I desire simplicity, functionality, but also femininity, traditionalism, I guess. And beauty, luxury. I still like luxury things, um, but organization and practicality and all of that kind of stuff too. So that is enough rambling. Um, let's get into, I want to take you through my wardrobe and show you what's changed. Maybe do a little bit of a declutter of some things that I don't think I'm going to be using and show you the dresses I got and where I got them from. All right. So the only crappy thing about this vanity, which I love my vanity, but the only downside is that because it comes out a little further from the wall, I can't open that side of the closet all the way, which is okay. So here is a quick overview of the closet now. So not too much has changed. I haven't expanded my handbags. I have, I've gotten a couple new pairs of shoes. The area that has changed the most is obviously the clothing, the dresses. When I was looking for dresses, what I did was I went to a couple of more affordable places and I ordered a ton of dresses and I'm going to call myself out for something. I know I told you guys in the past that I would never shop at Shein and it's hard to support a place like that because I, I don't know much about them and I know that they have had a lot of controversy. I always said I would never shop at Shein and that I didn't support it and that the clothing was very poor quality and I still feel the same way. Their, cl their clothing is not good quality but because I was trying to discover what type of floral dress would suit me the best. There's so many different styles. There's so many different necklines. There's so many different lengths and types of sleeves and everything. I just went, I ordered a ton of dresses from there so that I could try them all on and start to get a feeling for what was going to work the best for me. So that was really good. I didn't want to start ordering super expensive dresses from places like House of CB. I didn't want to start ordering dresses that were like two or three or four hundred dollars because I didn't even know what was going to suit me. I didn't even know if I was going to like it and then you have to go through the whole return process. So Shein was just a quick easy place with a ton of styles to choose from. So out of the probably like 40 or 50 dresses I tried, literally only maybe five of them were decent enough quality and I liked them enough that I could keep them. Everything else obviously went back. It was more so just so I could experience some new styles and colors and shapes and kind of get used to it. It was kind of like getting my toes wet, getting my foot in the door. Now I know what I like and going forward, I'll be able to make better purchases online at more high-end, high-quality places that are more ethical, I guess, those kind of companies that I do want to support. But I kind of just wanted some quick, easy, cheap stuff to fill out my floral wardrobe. So that's what I did there. So I have a whole bunch of dresses. I also ordered from places like Dynamite, Hollister, Boohoo, uh, Susie Shear. Um, I went to RW and Co. I went to Ricky's, like not super high end, just places that were having um, end of season sales on dresses and stuff like that. And just kind of explored a little bit. I still really love Aritzia. I like Zara, but Zara can be very hit and miss. I like H&M, but again, with H&M, their sizing and their quality is also hit and miss, but there are some decent dresses. You can find cheap, decent dresses. Oh, and I also went to Amazon, but you can find really decent dresses for not that expensive. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to grow your dress wardrobe. Um, another area that I have found 
works really good for me is cardigans. And um, I always was on the look for a like a more fitted cardigan. I think you guys will remember. I'll show you an example actually if I have it. Um, and for some reason it just wasn't working. Like those cardigans weren't working. And I was like, why aren't I wearing these? Like there's something about them that I'm not liking. I have discovered that I prefer more of a loose fit, flowier cardigan, something that's a little bit more not so figure uh, hugging on the top. Same thing goes with my shirts. Um, I'm not going to get rid of all of my long sleeve white t-shirts, which have formerly been my favorite to pair with skirts. I still think that they're a great thing to pair with skirts, but I just don't think they're really, I don't think that that particular style is going to be my go-to anymore. Since I've started wearing dresses and putting my best foot forward every single day, I have not been reaching for the long sleeve white t-shirts and the skirts. I have been reaching for something a little bit more loose, flowy on top, a cardigan, or just a straight up dress. And I will say that my favorite thing to go for is a dress. Why? Because it's fast, it's easy, you don't have to think about it. It is an entire outfit in one garment. You don't have to match, you don't have to think about what bottom are you going to put with what top. You literally just throw on a dress and you are good to go. Choose yourself a necklace or a bracelet and you're you're ready for the day. And that's what's so easy about it. So the interesting paradox about a dress, you guys, is that you literally put in almost no effort and it looks like you put in so much effort because it takes less time to get dressed in a dress than it does anything else. But at the same time, you look 10 times more presentable, 10 times more feminine, and 10 times more elegant than if you would have put on a pair of jeans and some sort of a sweater. So I do think there's some things in my wardrobe that I'm not going to be reaching for and gravitating for at all. For about the last three weeks or so, like I said, I have been, you know, putting something on every single day, putting on a dress every single day that I leave the house. Almost every single day I've been putting a dress on because I notice that if I don't, if I just sit around, I feel slovenly. I feel lazy. I feel unkept. I feel just blah, really blah. I don't feel good about myself. I don't feel like my best self. And life is too short not to feel good about yourself. So since I've been putting the dresses on and getting dressed up every day, I'm kind of noticing like what I reach for, what I don't reach for. So therefore, I think there's some things in here I can pass on. I'm not going to immediately get rid of them. I'm going to put them downstairs in a bin. If I miss those items, I can always bring them back. But if I don't miss them going forward, like maybe at the end of next summer, then I know for sure I can get rid of them. Okay, so I want to start showing you guys the dresses. I don't think I'm going to try them on in today's video. I can do a dress try on haul for you guys but if you want to see I pretty much have pictures of all of these on my Instagram like I've been posting and if you're if you want more inspiration or more um, dress inspo or whatever follow me on Instagram because I have been posting outfits of the day slash dress of the day um, so everything that I every time I wear one you're going to see it on my Instagram so if you go back and look in my stories um you'll see. So this is an example of one dress. I got this from Hollister. My daughter was actually ordering back to school clothing. And when I was on the website, I noticed they had some pretty dresses. This one is really nice. It's a very traditional, very feminine, very pretty, just light, lightweight floral. Um, this one is from Hollister. Cinches in a little bit the waist. This one has a little bit of cleavage, but not much. It's very feminine, but it's not too much. Um, and this style of neckline, I have to say, is probably not my most flattering, but it's it's okay. I felt really nice when I wore this dress. It is a very beautiful dress. So this one's a little bit higher quality than something like Shein. So that's the first one. Okay, this one here is not something I would put on for everyday wear, but I want to show it to you because it's actually extremely cute and extremely flattering. This one is actually from Shein. This one's a little bit more flirty. Um, I have this one. I kept it because it is something that my boyfriend really likes. He loves these like shorter, like milkmaid style dresses. They're obviously very feminine, but they also have a little bit of a sexiness to them. So I would wear this for like going out with him or something because on the day-to-day -day regular basis, I prefer a midi or a maxi. I am not a mini dress person, but I will wear something like this just to be a little bit more like sensual slash sexy for, you know, night out or something or going out somewhere with him during the day. And because like I say, I do, I do like to take his opinions into account and I do feel really good in this dress. It's just like almost a little too it's, it's something I would feel like I would have worn when I was a lot younger for daytime, but I don't feel comfortable wearing a, a shorter dress for the daytime. This one isn't super short, by the way. It comes to about mid-thigh, but even that for me is too short for the daytime. I like something um, to hit at least at the knee. 
but this one's very cute so it's like this kind of paisley floral print it's a size small and it's actually decent quality like if i didn't know it was from shein if i would have got this from like h&m zara or dynamite or something i would have believed it you know so it was okay sometimes with shein you find good stuff other times it's absolutely terrible you just have to hunt i'm gonna have to be somewhat quick because my battery is gonna die but this one here you guys this is so cute i never in a million years would have thought to put this dress on would have thought i would have liked it um i shared a picture of myself wearing it in my stories it is actually so flattering and so cute it's this gingham print beige and white poof sleeve smocked bodice a-line midi dress um it is actually so flattering so when it comes to dressing more modestly feminine conservative traditional there's a fine line between just being super feminine and being a little bit dowdy or being a little matronly or being a little you know it can go too much the kind of unattractive very quickly depending on the kind of dress depending on the colors and the length something that i'm finding that works really well is to balance your proportions so for example i would say this is a fairly conservative dress but it does have a slightly lower neckline it doesn't show any cleavage but it's got a slightly lower neck so even though it's long even though the color and the print might look a little bit you, you might think it's a little dowdy or something but it's actually super cute and super feminine and i feel amazing in this dress this one is from amazon oh like what company i ordered it from amazon it took a really long time to get here so i'm guessing it came from china somewhere for all i know it's a shein dress i don't know it doesn't say shein on it but i've noticed a lot of overlap with amazon and shein so i never used to think i could wear puffy sleeves like this because i thought it made my shoulders look too broad and i didn't think it looked proportionate and also the way i used to do my hair when my hair was a little bit shorter i don't know there was something i just didn't like about it but now that i wear my hair long and down and curled it just suits the vibe honestly when i wear dresses like this it makes me feel sort of it's somewhere in the middle between like prairie housewife meets princess <laughs> it's kind of like rapunzel on the prairies <laughs> is how i feel when i wear these dresses it makes me feel kind of like a princess so even though it's not really it's it's kind of like cinderella vibes before she met the prince all right this one here is from Shein, believe it or not. It doesn't have a Shein label anywhere. This is what I mean by some of these dresses, <clears throat> I feel like on Amazon, I feel like a lot of the times Amazon gets their clothes from cheap vendors and you think there's maybe some like better vendor, but they're actually just like a cheap vendor like Shein or something because this is actually not bad quality. The fabric on this is honestly not bad. It feels really nice. Like if you would have told me this was from H&M, I would have believed you not the h&m is super high quality you know what i mean um so this is a midi dress and it is beige brown um a little bit peachy colored and this dress is actually very feminine and very pretty and i really like it and it feels better quality than it is so this one i actually really like i haven't had a chance to wear it yet but this was one that when i tried it on it was kind of like an instant yes like instant love at first try on like I say with Shein, most of the time it was a miss. A lot of the things I tried on either felt horrible quality, the color was way off, or it just wasn't made proportionately well where it worked. Um, but sometimes you find hidden gems, and this was actually a pretty good little hidden gem. All right, guys, so this is where... Okay, this is the type of dress I never would have thought I would purchase. And again, this one definitely gives me major, like, I'm cleaning the house and I'm a... I'm just a housewife on the prairies cleaning the house and maybe later I go out and collect some eggs from the chickens. I'm not sure. But I really like these two dresses. Actually, the first one that I got, these are both from Shein. The one on the left, the peachy one, that one, like... I wasn't sure it was going to work for me when I first tried it on and it ended up being it ended up being one of my favorite dresses. I've worn it a couple times. I get compliments when I wear these dresses. There's a fine line between feminine and pretty and going a little bit dowdy when you're looking for this sort of traditional conservative vibe, which is kind of what I like. Um, so I have gotten so many compliments. So I ended up loving the peach one so much that I got it also in the pink. They have lots of different colors in this dress. They have black, green there's a few different ones i'll try to link it down below it's it doesn't look like much but it's very flattering on it's a really nice cut for me so it has a round neck it's got this cute little kind of ruffle sleeve detail the sleeves are not too tight they're kind of like a little bit almost like a flounce sleeve but they're not super wide this one's actually more wide um than this one is and then it's got like this pretty little embroidered detail and 
this other, I don't know what you call this here, popcorn kind of detail. Um, and then it cinches in at the waist a little bit, but it's not super figure hugging or figure, like it's not tight. And then it flows away and it hits just below the knee. Uh, so it's a, it's a very conservative dress because there's no cleavage. Um, and it kind of almost looks a little matronly, like it does a little bit, but the fact that it hits just below the knee, you're showing just a little bit of leg. So it's like an everyday running errands. And this is what I mean. Like these dresses are so comfortable. It literally takes no more time to put these on than it does to put on any, any other outfit. It takes less time actually. And it's like instant, it instantly works and it's casual. It's comfortable. All right. This next one is a little bit better quality and it's a little bit higher end. It's from Susie Shear. So it's not high end, but it's like a decent department store. Um, and this one I have gotten so many compliments on. It's like the perfect flowy, feminine, casual, everyday summertime dress. It's a little bit nicer material. Um, it's kind of like this semi sheer arms. And then this part here, it is lined. So it's not see-through on the bottom. It has the smocked detail here and a round neck. And it's a little bit tighter through the bodice, but it's not like super, super tight. And then it just flows away from the waist and it hits at, again, just below the knee. So it's a midi dress and I absolutely love it. Um, this was on sale. The good thing about getting into dresses at the time that I did, which was August, is that all the summer stuff was on sale. So I got this on clearance for 21 Canadian dollars. It was regular, a 50 or $60 dress. Okay, this one here I really like and it really surprised me. It doesn't look like much on the hanger, but it is a wrap dress. It's not a faux wrap. It actually is a physical wrap dress. So because of that, I really like it because you can customize how loose it fits or how tight it fits because it actually is like you have to pull the, um, what do you call it? There's a There's a string here that goes through this side of the dress, comes around the other side, and then you tie it on the side. So it does have a V neck and you can adjust it so that it's a deeper V or a higher V just based on how tight you tie the wrap. It has a slightly roughly, um, slightly poofy sleeve, but nothing too crazy. And then it's midi and hits below the knee. This one's from Shein. Um, super affordable. It was like $15 or something. Um, and then it's white and green and green is actually a color that flatters me. Obviously the thing about wearing florals is you're going to have some color in your wardrobe and that's something I've kind of embraced. I've embraced having a little bit more color in my wardrobe and it's making me feel really, really good. I think that there are some colors that flatter me better than other colors. Green is one of those colors. And so I feel very feminine in this. I feel very mature, very elegant, very ladylike. This one isn't super old fashioned looking. It's a little bit more modern and it's just like a pretty dress and I, I quite like it. And also the fact that it has the V-neck, you can get just a tiny bit of cleavage but nothing too crazy. Okay, this dress I really, really like. It doesn't look like much. It is a midi dress with a round neck and again, a slightly ruffly, slightly poofy sleeve. Um, it doesn't have any smocking or ruching or anything like that. It's just a sort of a mid-tone, little bit more muted green dress with these pretty little flowers on it. And it looks pretty basic. It looks like something, honestly, that I would never think to put this on. But for some reason, it really, really works. I've got like a cute handbag. Um, it just it just pulls the look together and it looks quite nice. Um, this one, I got so many compliments. I wore this the other day to go just run some errands and I stopped at Shoppers and I actually grabbed the Billie Eilish perfume, the first one that she came out with Eilish. I really like it. Um, they were having a huge sale. Everything was 20% off, but I wore this and I got a compliment from the person working there. I got, I ran into my mother. She complimented me and it's interesting because this is not the type of dress that you see a lot of people wearing right these days, unless you like maybe work in a school setting because it's not the popular style at the moment. And it's definitely different from what I wore before. My mom actually told me she said, you look like you're from Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> if you guys don't know what that is, you're missing out. I loved Little House on the Prairie. And that's kind of, again, the vibes I'm going for. Like I said, Rapunzel on the Prairies. Okay, so princess vibes meets young and youthful and feminine and still girly. And, but like a little bit old fashioned kind of, that's kind of what I like. All right, this next one is also from Susie Shear. I got it on clearance. It was like $21. It is not my absolute favorite. I wore it yesterday. Honestly, I don't love it. It isn't my favorite. Something about the square neck with the large sleeves and the color as well. I think I would have liked it more. I think it might be the color. I don't usually wear a full pink 
dress. Um, I don't know, something about it, it just was not my favorite, but it's nice. It's an easy, like, throw on if I just need to feel, like, put together, just quickly throw something on and look, look like I put a little bit of effort in if I have to run out and do errands or something. All right, this one is super cute. This is from Amazon as well, and I don't know what the actual brand is. I don't think it has a brand written on it. Actually, I think it's from a brand called Pretty Garden. Yeah, so there's this there's this um, brand, you guys. If you're looking for this kind of dress, like this style of dress that's like a little bit conservative and traditional and sort of vintagey, but still very feminine, um, look up Pretty Garden. They have a ton of this kind, like these kind of style of dresses. So this is from Amazon. This one's a little bit more fitted. It is a midi, almost verging on maxi on me. It hits at about the mid calf. And it's a little bit more fitted as you can see. So it's got these kind of poofy, kind of poofy sleeves. You can wear this up over the shoulder or if you want, you can pull it down and have it like a off the shoulder. I think that off the shoulder is a little bit more sexy, more like I'm going out on a date, so I'm gonna show some more skin. And then just for daytime for running errands, I do like it pulled up over the shoulder. It's got a little bit of an elastic here around the um, sleeve, so you can kind of adjust where it sits on your arm. And then it has um, like smocking going all the way down, but it's not super tight or super form fitted. This is a size small. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, I'm five foot two and 114 pounds. So it fits me pretty well and it's actually, like it's not tight, it's got lots of room, like lots of forgiveness, it's actually very comfortable. And then I like that it kinda has that little bit of a flounce detail at the bottom. Like ladylike and feminine and pretty and has the potential to be a little bit more sexy because it does hug your curves a little bit more. You can, like I said, you can have it off the shoulder or you can have it on the shoulder. It doesn't really show cleavage, but it is a little bit lower cut. Um, so it's a little bit more, it's a little bit less like prairie house. And this is quite colorful. Like for me, this is definitely a little bit more out of my comfort zone in terms of in terms of what I usually would wear, but I really like it. It actually complements my skin tone so well, especially because it's not white. It's kind of this like beige color and then the pink and the green. And the beige for some reason looks really nice against my skin. So yeah, I really like this one. Okay, this one I quite like. And had you shown this to me, I don't know, six months to a year ago, I would have said this looks like something I would see on a ghost in a haunted house. <laughs> it kind of has that like creepy ghost vibes, sort of, from like a Nicole Kidman horror movie. But it's actually very, very nice. And this is from Shein. This was one of the few that when I tried it on, I was like, okay, this is actually good. This could work. It has um, kind of the lantern sleeve. It has a little bit of smocking around the waist. So it's a little bit more cinched in around the waist. It has a V-neck with a little tie in the front and it is a midi. So what stops this dress from being like too conservative or too kind of old woman or matronly or whatever is the fact that it's not a maxi, it's a midi. Uh, secondly, it has a v-neck, a deep v. So it's not, it doesn't show like a ton of cleavage, but it goes down a little bit lower. And so I think that just balances it out a little bit. It looks to me like it would be super like kind of matronly, but it's not. It's a really nice dress. This is something I could picture myself like wearing to go buy school supplies with my daughter or to a parent teacher interview or to some kind of a, I feel like any event at my daughter's school, this is a good dress to wear because it's very very conservative and very modest, but still very feminine and very pretty. And it's actually quite nice. The fabric is also not bad. If you had told me this came from H&M or Susie Shear or Zara or something like that, I would have believed you. So this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, this kind of fabric is actually quite forgiving. I feel like there's certain fabrics that you can tell right away that it's not good quality. And then there's certain fabrics like this one that you can kind of get away with it and it might look a little bit more expensive than it is. Also, I would say that when you get things from Shein for sure, they pretty much need to be steamed. And I also would never wear anything without washing it because I just don't trust, like I don't know what kind of chemicals <laughs> they use over there. I don't know what, like wh whose hands it's come in contact with. I just, it kind of weirds me out because I don't know what their standards are. You know what I mean? But, and then it's got this cute little tie in the front and you can tie it up as, as tight as you like. Um, I think you can actually wrap this around. I'm not sure, but it's quite beautiful. It's got these really pretty kind of antique looking bluish green flowers and then the beige color. It's very, very nice actually. Okay, this one here is quite conservative. This is, it's like casual, easy, 
Um, it is definitely one of the more conservative. I think it is the most like conservative slash modest ones that I have. It shows the least amount of skin. It's got long sleeves. It's a maxi dress and a round neck. So there's absolutely no cleavage, no skin showing whatsoever. It's very nice. It's a little bit more mature. I showed it to my boyfriend. Like I tried it on and I showed it to him and he did not care for it, but I don't care. I really like this one, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um, so what I actually did, first of all, it has like a little bit of smocking up here as well. So it's a little bit tighter around the bust and then it flows away. These sleeves are actually longer. I'll show you. They're actually like this. So that's what the sleeve looks like however when i wear it with the sleeve all the way down it is like it just isn't it doesn't suit me very well so what i do is i actually fold the sleeve up and it still is like quite snug on my arm so i fold the sleeve up and it ends up being like a three-quarter length sleeve and just by showing that little bit of wrist at the bottom it kind of makes it a little bit more airy and summertime and not so fully fully covered up kind of thing it's interesting to me how just changing the sleeve length makes a really big difference in a dress like this. Okay, this one is a little bit more youthful. Um, and this one I think a lot of you, like a lot of my viewers will really like. This is from Boohoo. They were having a sale. Everything was 50% off. I ordered probably about eight dresses. Two of them were winners. Two of them were absolute winners. This was one of them. It was an instant love at first try on. So this is a little bit like House of CB vibes, which I like House of CB because I like the milkmaid vibe. Just like I said, I like the housewife prairie milkmaid sort of. I love that like girly feminine. It, it's kind of like domestic, domestic housewife sort of, but adds a little bit of sex appeal. House of CB has super, super sexy dresses, which I think a lot of them are ideal for like a date night, not so much every single day going out to do errands. But this one is really nice for summertime, especially if it's a really hot day and you don't want to be too covered up. It has a skinny strap and almost a sweetheart neckline. And it's got like a corset style bodice and then it flows away from the waist. And I also like how it dips in a little bit here. So this look, this dress is very, very in right now. Like this style of dress is trending. So I don't think I've taken a picture of myself in this dress yet. I haven't worn it. This would be good for a day when it's like literally 30, 35 degrees. It's super hot. I don't want to be covered up. I need to be very airy and flowy. I would also wear this if I was down South with my boyfriend. Like if we go to Miami or something, we're going out for brunch or we're on vacation or something. And I just want a very feminine, pretty, flirty sort of um, flattering dress. All right, guys, this dress does not look like anything on the hanger. It does not do it justice. This is one of those milkmaid style dresses. So it's a midi, like almost a maxi on me because I'm pretty short, but it is a midi dress. It has poofy sleeves, um, a square neckline, and it has like a corset style top. So it doesn't do up like a corset, but it cinches in in the bodice and the waist so beautifully, flows away from the waist. A little bit of cleavage, not too much. It is a little bit more on the sexy side. It's not something I would wear to go to my daughter's school for anything, and I probably wouldn't even wear it for most day to day. I would wear this if I wanted to look a little bit more special, like maybe we're going out for a nice lunch, my boyfriend and myself, or on vacation or something, or just a day when I just want to feel, I don't know, a little bit more on the sexy side, a little bit more on the flirty side, but it's not a vulgar kind of sexy. It's not like an over the top showing too much. It definitely has some appeal. It's a flirty dress. Like I think that's the best way to put it probably is it's a flirty, flirty dress and it doesn't show too much. Like it doesn't show too much cleavage. It just shows like, um, not even really cleavage. It's just like your decolletage and then like just it's a little bit lower cut, I guess is the best way to put it, but seeing it on the hanger is it does not do it justice. I shared a picture of this in my stories when I tried it on, and I think that would still be in my 2024 continued highlights on Instagram if you wanna go look. I'll also try to post a picture of the model on the screen so that you can see what it actually looks like on a person. Um, Cause yeah, my battery's gonna die again and this video is already so long, but. So it has a zipper tie up in the back. And again, it just really does not look like much on the hanger, but it is so incredibly flattering. This is one of my favorite discoveries. All right, this one is kind of the same vibes. Um, this is actually from Shein, believe it or not. So this is kind of um, almost a corset style top um, bodice. It's got 
like a little bit of a sweetheart neckline. It does have the detail around the bust. It's got really pretty embroidery going down. It does need to be steamed. It's a little wrinkly and it's white with blue flowers. And then it has this really pretty scallop detail over the top, little tie, adjustable skinny straps, um, a little bit of ruching in the back to help it um, or smocking, I guess, to make it more fitted. And it does come into the waist a little bit, dips down and flows away. So it is that very um, trendy dress that we're seeing right now. It's extremely flattering. It's a little bit more youthful. This one's a lot less conservative and a lot less modest. But again, it's just such a nice summer dress. This is ideal for, you know, a super hot day or again, going out for brunch in the middle of the day with my boyfriend, going on vacation, wanting to feel feminine and cute and flirty and things like that, but also still relatively covered up and modest. But also you can make this a little bit more conservative if you really loved the dress, but you didn't feel comfortable showing your shoulders or your arms or your chest, you can literally just throw on a cardigan, like some sort of a chunky cardigan or any kind of like a V-neck button up cardigan and it completely transforms the look and then you still get the look but with being a little bit more covered. You can also take, I'll show you, you can take um, like a sweater, like this, for example. This sweater is from H&M. You can take a, a long sleeve white sweater that isn't super fitted and you can wear that over top of the dress and then you're a little bit more covered up. And then one of the tricks I like to do is I like to actually wear a belt and then tuck the bottom part of the sweater into the belt so that, I don't know if it's gonna stay, but anyways, you get the idea so that it's not like, super long and you have a little bit more of a waist. So you can take something like that, that like you really like it, um, but maybe it's a little bit too showy for you, or maybe you feel like it's too young for you or too flirty, or it's not appropriate for the occasion. And or maybe you're going from like the park in the middle of the day when it's hot and sunny and you're going to parent teacher interview or you're going to, you have to stop in at the office for a second or whatever. If you just throw on like a nice cashmere sweater, a nice sweater like that, it instantly makes it just a little bit more um, modest. Okay, I'm just going to go over this dress relatively quickly. This one is from the company, I don't know if I'm saying it properly, Riojas. It's a cheap, it's kind of a cheap company. Um, I don't, it's, it's not the best quality. Like this dress is not the greatest quality. I think I paid like $35 Canadian for it. Um, but it's very flattering. So this again is a little bit sort of, um, corset style top milkmaid sort of vibes. It's got a slightly wider strap, um, and it's a midi dress and it cinches in around the waist and then flows away in an A-line. It looks very, very beautiful. And it definitely is a little bit more airy and shows a little bit more skin. It has a zipper tie up on the side and then, or sorry, a zipper on the side. And then in the back you have kind of the corset detail so you can really cinch it in. It's kind of inspired by the House of CB, but it's not as good quality. So now that I know that I really like this style of dress, I definitely do want to invest in a nice House of CB dress at some point in the future. But House of CB is like $300. And so that's kind of why I went with like Shein and Amazon and stuff like that to begin with, because I didn't even know like what style was going to suit me the best. I didn't know what colors I was going to be comfortable with. I didn't even know if I was going to like wearing florals. I just needed to get my toes wet. So that was kind of what it was. It was like dipping my toes in. And now I feel very confident about certain styles of dresses. So yeah, this is kind of like a cheap house of CB dupe. I ordered two dresses from this company. Neither were great quality, but this one looks like better quality than it is. And I can pull it off. Okay, this dress, you guys, believe it or not, Shein, better quality than it, like it is, it is better quality than you would have expected. This was an instant, like instant love when I put it on. Again, you can wear it multiple ways. It's kind of this flowy chiffon tool kind of dress. It's a midi, to, hits me almost like between a midi and a maxi, cinches in at the waist, flows away. You can wear the sleeves down over the shoulder if you want it to be a little bit more showy or a little bit more, like show a little bit more skin, or you can wear it up over the shoulder for a more cutesy, conservative covered up kind of look. Um, my favorite way to wear this dress is with a sweater. Well, I haven't worn it yet, but I styled it with a sweater and this looks really cute with a cashmere sweater and then the little trick where you tuck the sweater up underneath and tuck it into a belt so that it looks like the sweater is tucked into a skirt rather than sitting on top of a dress. Um, super, super cute. Or you could wear something like this with a cardigan. This is going to be great for fall fashion, believe it or not. So it definitely looks like more of a summertime, almost a special occasion. Like you would wear this too for some sort of special occasion, but 
you can definitely make it more casual and you can make it fall appropriate. And I actually like the way it looks better with a sweater over top than the way it is. So I'll show you the sweater I did that with. I believe it was this one again. Oh, where's the one? I believe it was this one. Again, from H&M. But you guys, look how chic. Like, look how chic that is. So it's absolutely perfect. And you can leave the sweater tucked out or you can like tuck the bottom up and under underneath into a belt so it looks like the the sweater is like tucked into a flowy skirt and then you've completely changed the vibe like it's a dress but you can make it look like it's a sweater and a skirt and it just looks really nice okay last one i think you guys this is from h&m i got this on sale for like the end of season uh, this is kind of a peachy tone it's not my best color i don't look as good in peach in peach and orange as i do in some other colors i kind of wish it was more beige or ivory um, but it's just like a peach tone, poofy sleeve, smocked bodice, a-line floral dress with a square neckline. Again, you can wear a strapless bra and you can pull the sleeves down over the shoulder if you want it to be a little bit more of an off the shoulder. Or if you want it to be a little bit more conservative, you pull them up over the shoulders and it just looks a little bit more cutesy as opposed to sexy, I guess. But it's a very versatile piece, very easy, very light, flowy, airy, comfortable. I wore this the other day and got a couple compliments on it. So I think that is about it for the dresses. Yeah, I do have a couple pieces I got in here for like fall fashion. I got a couple of cardigans from H&M. And again, this has completely changed like this, the, the way that I've been dressing and doing things and the way that I've been feeling and like this whole shift has changed the way I shop for clothing and the type of items I think look good on me and that I have been purchasing. Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna end the video here. My battery keeps on dying and I think I've pretty much gone through everything I wanna go through. I showed you the dresses I wanted to show you and just touched base with you. I don't wanna declutter anything else at the moment because I don't wanna be hasty. This is, again, something I'm working on with myself because for so many years I was in this minimalist mindset where I just would cut ties with things very, very quickly. I would declutter them very quickly and sometimes I would regret it or sometimes I just wasn't 100% sure about my decision before I would make make a choice. And so these days I'm kind of taking my time. That way if I want to come back and revisit something, I can. Um, I, I'm not feeling like that pressure where I feel like I have to get rid of everything I'm not using and I have to keep it to a certain size and stuff like that. I still obviously want to curate it going forward. And again, I don't think I have that big of a wardrobe. Like I know people out there have way more clothes than I do. I've definitely added some dresses, but I'm, I just don't want to declutter for the sake of keeping it a certain size. And then at the risk of like getting rid of something I shouldn't have gotten rid of. Like I do have a pair of jeans in here. I'm going to hold on to those because I haven't tried wearing jeans in a really, really long time. I don't think I'm going to reach for them, but I'm just, I'm just not pressuring myself to like get rid of everything right this second if that makes sense um, I'm just going to go with the flow I'm just going to go with the flow wear what I like and reevaluate every you know six months or something like that so there will definitely be more wardrobe content in the future more declutters I definitely want to also do a fall fashion show show <laughs> a fall fashion video for you guys and show you um, a couple of the pieces I got uh, from H&M that I'm just loving, a couple sweaters and cardigans, they're so cute. Um, I'm gonna try to do that as soon as I can, but for now, I think we're gonna end the video, it's been long enough. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this little chat and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these dresses and maybe it inspired you to either wear more dresses yourself or whatever. So thanks for spending the day with me, you guys, and I'll see you all very soon, bye. Where I